What is chemical bonding? I logged into my Facebook account last night and to my surprise, my Facebook wall was filled with relationship statuses. Sodium is in a relationship with chlorine, magnesium shares a complicated relationship with iodine, helium loves being single. I got tired of all these relationship statuses and logged out from Facebook. Welcome to chemical bonding. We have more than 100 elements in our periodic table. Do you know how many of these elements are found in nature in their free elemental state? Very few. Elements combine with each other to form molecules or compounds. As people get married to settle down and attain stability in their life. Similarly, elements form bonds with other elements to create compounds in order to attain stability. Stability in the chemical world means attaining a lower energy state. The group 8 elements of the periodic table like helium, neon, etc. do not require bonding with other elements to attain stability. These are called inert elements. The reason behind the inertness of these elements is hidden in their electronic configuration. An element is stable if its valence shell or outermost orbit contains 8 electrons. For example, neon has 8 electrons in its outermost orbit, which is a stable electronic configuration and does not need to lose or gain electrons like sodium or chlorine. Similarly, all other inert elements have 8 electrons in the outermost orbit. This is called octet configuration. Helium is also an inert gas, but its electronic configuration is 1s2, which is a duplet configuration. It is also stable due to fully filled valence s orbital. Octet and duplet configuration are considered to be stable in nature. Every other element tries to attain the configuration of the nearest inert gas either by losing or by gaining electrons. Do you know about the different bond types? Not that bond, we are talking about chemical bonds. There are two types of chemical bonds through which elements combine and form compounds. Let's review each one of them in detail. Ionic bond is much like an arranged marriage in which one party has to give dowry to other for getting married. Similarly, in an ionic bond, one element donates electrons to the other element resulting in formation of a bond. For example, a sodium atom has one electron in its outermost orbit. If it loses that electron, it attains a positive charge and the stable electronic configuration of neon gas. Whereas, a chlorine atom having 7 electrons in its valence shell accepts that electron from sodium and attains a stable electronic configuration of argon gas. This additional electron makes the chlorine atom negatively charged. In simpler terms, ionic bond is nothing but the electrostatic force of attraction between oppositely charged elements. Sodium gives one electron to chlorine to form an ionic bond. Ionic bond generally exists between metals, which are basically electron donors and non-metals, which are electron acceptors. Covalent bond Covalent bond is more like a love marriage in which the couple share responsibilities and expenses. Similarly, elements share electrons to form covalent bonds. Water that we see all around us is formed by covalent bonding between two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Hydrogen's electronic configuration is 1s1 and it has one electron in its outermost orbit. Hydrogen requires an additional electron to attain the stable configuration of helium gas. Electronic configuration of an oxygen atom is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4 with 6 electrons in its outermost shell and it requires 2 additional electrons to attain stable electronic configuration. Unlike the earlier case where we had a donor sodium atom and an acceptor chlorine atom, both hydrogen and oxygen are in need of electrons and none of them can donate electrons. 
Therefore, they share their outermost shell electrons with each other to attain stable electronic configurations. Hence, by covalent bonding, hydrogen atom gets stable electronic configuration, but oxygen atom still has seven valence electrons. So oxygen combines with another hydrogen atom to attain eight electrons in the valence shell and this results in formation of a stable water molecule. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.